Hello Real Estate, George here, Unit Manager from Philippine Homes and a PRC Accredited and the HSUD Registered Salesperson. So today, I will be showing you a walkthrough video from one of the more exciting projects of Cebu Land Masters and I'm talking about Costa Mira Beach Town, Mactan. So Costa Mira Beach Town is located in Barangay Suba Bas Bas in Lapu-Lapu City. It's in Mactan Island and it is a total land area of 18,413.70 square meters. If you are aware, we just launched last year two towers, Tower 1 and Tower 2. Fortunately or unfortunately, it got sold out in weeks. Okay, that's just how amazing this project is so it's a beachfront property and it's all residential units so there is no hotel component because some of the projects that have hotel components is they do not allow the residential component for short-term lease meaning airbnb is not allowed daily rental is also not allowed but here at costa mira beach town everything is possible so why am i making this video if the two towers are already sold out well, the first one is this walkthrough video was just released by Subu Land Masters like last week. The other reason is Tower 3 is coming. So if you have not purchased a property, it's very important for you to watch this video to see and appreciate and prepare the documents because Tower 3 is gonna be launching Q4 this year. Let's look at the walkthrough video. This is the entry, main entrance of Costa Maria Beach Town. It's a narrow road and there's like pine trees lined up going to the vicinity. So if you look at in here, it's two-way and palm-lined main road. Tower 1 and Tower 2. Look at that. It's amazing and you can own a property here so that's what makes it more amazing so going in there um, you can already see some of the amenities there's tennis courts two tennis courts and the main lobby is actually on the third floor because the first and the second are designated or dedicated for the parking so this is the aerial view of the property so if you notice there's like a silhouette or like a blur um building that's actually tower three that's gonna be built okay so it's a little bit nearer um the coastline and a little bit nearer um of the retail space so this is actually the retail space that i was talking about so this will be launched um q4 this year so i think that's something that you should be excited about okay so that's Tower 1, Tower 2 as part of Phase 1, and Tower 3 as part of Phase 2. So this is another view of the property. Okay. So if you look at in here, um, one of the things that actually attracts attracted buyers is because it's beachfront. Some of the projects you have to walk like further compared to this. This one is there is no hotel in front just beach okay beach access and these are white sand um beach property okay just a disclaimer it's not powdery white sand same like in bohol or in boracay but this is white sand okay a little bit um, bigger grains because I, I read some comments that they said that you know it's not very clean well because it's not maintained yet okay so i'm gonna shift to google map just to know like where is costa mira beach town because one of the advantage actually of um costa mira is because it actually benefited from the completion of the third bridge the cc Lex. it made access even better um, for costa mira so this is the property costa mira beach town so just to look at here on the on the left side this is the main entrance so this is the main entrance this will be where the retail space is and this is the property and this is you know pacific cebu resort if you're familiar with the area expanding a little bit just for you to know from cebu city or in smc side going to costa mira 20 minutes um would be realistic compared to before where you're in cebu city you have to go to Lapu Lapu or even in this area it will be you no know, it will take some time so this is the site development plan and is as you can see there are 26 markings so the walkthrough video that I showed to you number one was the main entrance 
and then going through the palm lined main road and the first construction that you will see is the retail building number four is the alfresco and then there's the grand event lawn okay so a lot of open spaces actually and then there's gonna be a step lawn number six this one and then there's a pool bar and active park in here tennis courts not just one but two and then there's a massage pool okay i think this is the one that that there's like on on the wall there's like strong water current that's gonna like massage your back um i think that's in one of the resorts here in in Mactan. they have that and then the main lounge or the lap pool here jacuzzi in here and then there's the kids pool okay very important for kids to be safe number 13 and then the residential access stairs in number 14 so in here okay so if you want to if you'd want to go up because this is on the ground floor and this side here is on the third floor and the next is the number 15 the drop off okay so there's a ramp in here and then there is the drop off okay for those with vehicles and then beach access here this is where you will go in here and then tower one this is tower one this is tower two and then function lawn number 19 in here cabana it's also in here kids play oh there's even a play area the pool deck okay so this is the pool deck and then the kids pool the main lounge or the lap pool this will be this will give you a better view of the sea okay because this is elevated and then the tropical garden in this location and then tower three okay but more details um for that because there's actually an officially um discussion that this tower will be a little bit pushed here on this area um, i'm not sure like as of now again unofficial if this was purchased but if that would be the case then it would be um better because how it stands is that this tower will have a little bit of obstruction in terms of the view because tower three is here but if this will be pushed here it will be even better all right so let's proceed to the video okay so this is the the main uh the main pool okay overlooking the beach line okay so this is another angle this is on the third floor by the way okay if you look at on top all of the units have balconies so this is what i was talking about like panoramic view of the beach this is the kids play area this actually like maximizes the the beach feel there's a lot of water there's a lot of sea open space okay so this is the on the lower ground floor and another view of the the pool deck so this is the pool bar for residents and for those that you know would want to lease if you'd want to have it as an investment so it's very nice the tennis courts not just one but two tennis courts okay so that's you know if you want if you're an active type of person then you can really maximize so another angle um all units studio one bedroom two bedroom have balconies on top and look at that lobby the drop off lobby there's a lot to appreciate in the area it's well designed this is the drop off or this is the lobby of tower one it's modern feel it's very nicely done um, very convenient very wide space okay so it's really like designed um, you would feel that this is a hotel a hotel that's residential that you can own okay this is tower two um similar look and feel and this will also be the same look and feel for tower three so that's why i'm, I'm showing this video to you um, just for you to be able to have an idea of tower three because tower three will soon be available so if you'd want to have this kind and own this kind of property then definitely this is something to watch out for okay tower two lift lobby it's very nice and the gym okay so who wouldn't want a free gym you know to want to stay fit and buff you know just when you go to the to the pool you can like shred off your shirt and just flaunt that body to why not okay so function room look at that uh, very modern very convenient very nicely designed and this is the studio unit and again um it has a balcony look at that by the way the the studio unit so this is the fitted um studio unit this is not what will be delivered to you so this is the studio unit okay so typical studio unit um it's, it's about 27.25 so the studio unit is actually bigger than the standard okay another angle of the studio unit and then there's the 
toilet and bath okay and this is the view um amazing view of the one bedroom or the studio unit this is the one bedroom okay so i'm just gonna let you explore the video and then later on i will show you the layout of the one bedroom um just for you to appreciate the beauty of a one bedroom okay this is the typical one bedroom type so it's 44.6 okay so it's square so let's proceed to the two bedroom okay so enjoy so glass uh, floor to ceiling glass okay so that's the, the sala or the living and the dining okay so there's like big space and then um, that's your common toilet and bath and this is the bedroom one you will have a balcony and then there is the bedroom two okay so both rooms have balconies and i will show you the wow i will show you the layout amazing 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 view okay so in terms of the layout just the detail so two bedroom type is 69.3 okay this is how it would look like so the master's bedroom you can have bigger balcony and the other bedroom also has big balcony as well and even the dining area so wherever you go there's balcony here balcony here and balcony here by the way when tower one and tower two um was launched the two bedroom units were actually the first one that got sold out so if tower three will open i would really recommend for you to choose this bigger types okay so this will be tower three okay this is the 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 front area that's really open space okay so costa mura beach town let's shift to the their um presentation material okay so once again um this is what it looks like um the vicinity map okay so that's beside pacific cebu resort but the pacific cebu resort has a um, different entrance so in here this is exclusive um this area this is costa mira um this is the gym and this is the the aerial view this is actually the view of tower three okay because tower three is in here so this is the view of tower three this is the tennis court and this is the retail area okay so it's two story and then it's gonna be made up of restaurants refreshments um i think even because this will be for lease so there's a lot of possibilities coffee coffee shops um laundry even water refilling so it's all gonna be in here so this is the layout um in terms of the rooms okay so um on the third floor um this there's gonna be like a gym and there's gonna be function rooms okay so for events uh this is a good place okay um to be in and this will be exclusive for unit owners okay or friends of unit owners as long as you are a property owner here or a unit owner then you can use the function rooms okay so tower one layout sky garden okay so there's gonna be sky garden but not in all floors just certain floors okay this is tower one um the two bedroom is actually facing the city um but in terms of the sea view these are all studio units okay and this one is a one bedroom unit and tower two so it's like 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 this um tower two is nearer um nearer the the coastline okay so same um it's like overlapping the sky garden for for tower one and tower two so this is another view okay another view the property this is actually a, a, a jetty it protects um the sand here from erosion and even from the weather okay so this will become a walking path over here as well okay another view tower three and this is the view okay swimming pool here swimming pool there beach over here okay so retail building okay so it's just beside the beach okay in front of the beach i don't know like it's really exciting to to have a property um that you own in the coastline 
with a retail facility with a lot of amenities. This is the reason why Tower 1 and Tower 2 was sold out immediately, in weeks. What is very important right now is to prepare for the launching of Tower 3. Okay? Now, in terms of what are the requirements, um, one valid ID um, with three specimen signatures on the side, a TIN card, um, very validated or verified uh, TIN, just to make sure that your TIN is correct. And then reservation fee. I'm not sure yet like in terms of how much the reservation fee right now, but I think it should be around 20 to 30,000, but that's part of the total contract price, okay? Um, and then you will fill up the business forms, okay? So um, I will be sending you or your agent will be sending you the business information sheet for you to fill up. And then there's an SPA. If you cannot um, be there physically, your agent or I, can represent you to reserve but the uh, in terms of the ownership it will be for you of course it will be under you okay this is it um, this is personally the best um, in Mactan um, Airbnb is okay monthly long term is okay um, you control it so if you have any questions you can message me um, I'm all, always available so uh, that would be all. Once again, this is George Ryan, Saramago Unit Manager from Filipino Homes. Thank you for watching. Stay safe, stay at home, and peace.